Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, look at here, this is the Foundry. And it doesn't say this on the can, but I'm type of saying it's Mosaic, Strata, and Cashmere Hops. It's an 8%er. Uh, and dates on the rim, 5 9 22. So, uh, uh, it does have the ABV written on here, and it does have the date on it, but I don't see the hops written on this. But looking down at the pictures, it looks like it's the same can. And it's a pretty long uh, description here, guys. Uh, says, the uh, Foundry Base said our new music venue. We have been working on this reclamation project for a few years. 15,000 square venue located was once long gone in Brassy Foundry for historic Virginia metal crafters with state-of-the-art sound and lighting. Big venue array, subsection area, active lighting. This venue will celebrate local, regional touring, national act, and fashion in our industrial defunct athletic. It will be perfect complement to the Base 680 Beer Campus coming in 2022. Uh, the Founder Series Big Double IPA is way for us to cheers and gain excitement for a big future of live music. As you all know by now, considered the lost town of Virginia, uh, it's fitting that we cheers with the Foundry Series Big Double IPA, anticipation of our industrial defunct full century live music experience. So, uh, sound like they got a, 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 a gig place happening and getting into music to me is what I'm getting here. Uh, so I don't know if they're brewing at that facility too or, or what's going on there, guys. Uh, this was, uh, I actually bought a four pack of this and it was $16.99 and I got $2 off. So $14.99 is what I actually ended up paying for four of these. So 15 bucks. So real quick to do the math, $7.50 a piece. So let's see what it's about, guys. Uh, Looks fairly hazy uh, in the picture here. 16 ounce with a plain Jane stick on wrap around label on it. Not super cloudy coming out, but it's got a nice haze to it. So we're going to get about that much and to do this. And then more. Hopefully this will be a little tastier than yesterday's drain pour. Don't get very many of them. Mmm. Two fingers ahead there guys. Now what do you think? Close enough for a New England style looking to you? It's close. I mean it's really close. I can see a little tiny bit of light down through here so it's it's real close. I mean it's probably close enough. Hmm? Let's find out. Oh yeah. Citrusy. Pineapple. Oranges. Tropical fruit notes, some stone fruit. That smells awesome, guys. That's got a very, very pleasant, much better than what we had yesterday. That was so disappointing. Best thing you spend money on beer. Uh, it's one thing for it not to be, uh, it wasn't, it was okay. But for it to be undrinkable, have to pour it out. This smells much better. Let's find out. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Same thing on the taste guys. Nice and citrusy, oranges, grapefruit, tropical fruit notes. Very nicely done. But that's the way it goes in the beer business. You know, you get good ones and you get bad ones. But it seemed like somebody would have. Maybe I had a bad one. Like I said, I, it could have been a bad batch, but. I've seen other people saying it was too perfumey, so. Mm. Somebody likes it. Evidently, they got it on the shelf, huh? So, that's the way it goes, guys. Beer taste of Jack, like I said. I was going to give it a second chance of uh, uh, letting her taste it, and it didn't work out. So, you, there's evidently people that do like it. 
this one and that one didn't <laughs> but I think we're gonna like this one I'll be right back all right guys I'm back a little bit left here and nice slice and having a glass I'm sitting there sipping on and I'm thinking what did I just tell them did I tell them it was 750 a can that gives me my gives you uh, my math ability there that would be for two cans guys uh, so what 375 for uh, a can of this so not 750 nah. uh, anyway tasty beer I enjoyed it uh, I'm a fairly big fan of this brewery I mean I got one more in there that I've done a couple times before maybe even three times uh, before and we're going to do the 2022 edition of it and I always found it pretty tasty so hopefully it's going to be good it's from the same brewery so this one's a tasty beer guys I mean I enjoyed this this is uh, this is pleasant I mean I, I don't think it's world class or anything but I think it's a decent solid beer and I think it's probably going to be a, an A beer uh, so I don't chug Uh, I don't think I don't think uh, there's any reason for me not to give this an A for that guys I mean it's super tasty right aroma right taste it's it's a winner I mean uh, not only for me guys uh, A minus over to Barrel Bucket they have it at 88 uh, I'm a couple points bigger than them and untapped has it at 4.03 uh, 67 ratings on, on this uh, so and I have got the wrong it is not 88 that was another beer I don't even have beer advocate up here guys so uh, I don't know what I'm talking about here let's go with this let's see if it'll bring it up I apologize I should have had this up but uh didn't and of course it's going to bring everything else up but that uh, last attempt and we're going to move on All right, what does this say here? That's all we're gonna do for that guy. This is probably there, I apologize. We don't have that rating today. Technical difficulties, yes, that's what it is. Uh, so we've got the, the 4.03 from Untap. I don't have beer advocates uh, uh, right on this, so we spirits and technical difficulties. Please stand by. So, with that being said, a minus for me. I agree with Untapped on this anyway. So, uh, if you've had the Foundry from Basic City Beer Company, uh, 2022 edition, I think it's the first time they've done this. Looking at the ratings here, but anyway, uh, if you have, let me know what you think. Taste your beer. I enjoyed it. To meet again. Let's take that walk. And go see what's in the free.